I'm sorry I've been away for longer than I said I would be. I haven't been feeling so well and I didn't want to make a video when I was in such a low state of mind or whatever you want to call it. But I've been feeling guilty that I haven't been making a video when I said I would. So today was a good day and it's decent weather so I figured I'd make the video today. I have finished Eldon's face up and I finished painting my Ingmar head as well. We can just start with the Ingmar head. I know you can probably not see him properly but I'll put some photos in here. So that's Ingmar, or my Ingmar head. I've named him now, his name is Benjamin. And it was... Something stuck there. It was a um, lady at work who I was talking to about Elden actually. And I told her that he was very, very thin, like a skeleton. And so she started to call him Benjamin. Because Ben in Swedish is like bone. So Benjamin, yeah. And I like the name, but Elden already has a name. So now this is Benjamin and I'm quite pleased with him. He has freckles. I'm not sure if it showed up in the photos I showed you, but it was my first attempt at making freckles and I think they turned out all right. I'm rather pleased. Um, yeah, but I suppose you want to see Elder. So I'll show you Elden. <sighs> okay, here's Elden. And I'll show you some photos of him as well right now. And I'm rather pleased with how he came out. It's I painted both Eldon and Ingmar or Benjamin at the same time, so they're both my first face up kind of. But I tried everything on Benjamin before I did anything on Eldon. So I took it in steps. And first I shaded the Ingmar head, then I shaded Elder. Then I added some details around the eyes on Ingmar, I think. Yeah, a little bit. And I did a bit differently on Elden. Yeah. He has a bit of a different look. Um, okay. Um, yeah, uh, Eldon is supposed to look a bit almost sickly, uh, very kind of British, I suppose. He's very fair skinned and since he's a butler, he's the archetype of a butler, I suppose. But he he's also affected by who is the ruling force of the house. Maybe I should tell you a bit about Eldon. Eldon isn't real, per se. 
I've told you a bit about Bart and Kumo and how they got into existence by their father ripping himself in two. And Eldam is created by their, I don't know if it's their grandmother or grandfather of some sort, but he was created because as a child they were feeling lonely and they had no friends and they were living in a large manor or mansion or castle or whatever you want to call it and they made up a friend and that friend turned out to be Eldon and Eldon is the soul of the house that Kumo and Bart lives in. I think that's the best way to describe it. He can appear anywhere and he hears everything in, in the premises of the house and the yard. Everything within the fence, so to speak. He can see and hear. And he has no emotions whatsoever. He's strictly logical in a way. He's a bit like a computer. He can't act emotionally on anything. He just does what's the most logical or the most... Say... I don't know how to describe it. Like. He doesn't care if anyone gets hurt, because if it saves other, a lot of other people, he would do it, and it doesn't matter. But he is affected by the ruling force of the house, which at the moment is Bart. And that means that Eldon is kind of a good guy at the moment. But if Kumo was to gain power and take control of the house, then Elden would turn dark or darker and act more in accordance to Kumo's wishes than Bart's. But he's very computer-like and just acts according to logic. Yeah, so that's a bit about Elden. There's more to it than that, but yeah. He's he's attached to the house, so he can't leave the house or the garden. Uh, but anywhere within he can act he can move around freely and see everything and hear everything like I said. Also he has the ability to turn into a cat. And I don't know why, but perhaps it's because cats have a tendency to just show up out of nowhere as well, just like Eldon can. So I have some cat eyes ordered for him with Ophelia Stas soul doll order. I saw a pair there. So he will be getting cat eyes eventually. I have not done anything with his body yet. I haven't even sprayed it. I've been terribly lazy, but it took me over a week just to finish his face up. And I used this Citadel Purity Seal. And it's... I like it, but... I noticed that I have many, many layers of spray upon Eldon's face, like 10 or more, and eventually he started to get somewhat shiny, and I think I would prefer MSC for face-ups. But the Purity Seal is a lot cheaper, and I think I will use that for bodies, because if I just spray once like two or three layers, then it's fine. Um, 
what else? I haven't had time to play around with Eldon much, but I really like him and yeah, I am starting to fall in love with him properly. I was really happy when I got him and then I just got sad and overwhelmed I think because I received Ren shortly before and it was a bit overwhelming to have two new dolls at the same time but I'm starting to warm up to him and I'm quite pleased with my first face up even though he has black eyelashes now I want to give him brown instead but I'm not gonna ramble anymore because it feels like I've been rambling forever and no one is actually listening anymore so I just wanted to say, this is Eldon, now you know a little bit about him, and thank you all for watching and subscribing and commenting, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!